Generals, gentlemen. Hello. Man, we are having a great night. We're having an awesome night. Aren't we having just... A, a night of zero hour can never be a bad night. Maybe. And we saw it coming, though. We, we looked at, like, the replays and, like, the, 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 the five most, like, recent high-rated replays were, like, all off TV and we were just, like... <sighs> this is great. Great times. This is going to be a general gentleman matchup. And by that, we mean nuke versus infantry, which is what we play most of the time. Yes, essentially. So, I'm just a big nuke guy. Callum loves the, the trying to info. Wait, no, hang on. Hey, hang around. on, Blake. That's not right. <laughs> Someone's incorrect there. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Typhon will be the man, the the big guns, the China infantry, the one who will definitely win this game because China well, infantry is the best faction in the game. So obviously, we can see a bit of a bit of fanboying, a little bit of bias no in here. Bias. And Bisaka Kunops will be uh, trying to nuke the pink man, slightly uh, less masculine than the red. Yeah. It's not pink. It's light red. Right. Red vs blue, anyone? No. Red vs blue, yeah. anyone? Uh, War factor gonna be coming down along with the barracks here, which makes me feel the all cap uh, from the looks of things. Could it just be uh, tank hunters for the start? Going for control over the garrisons does give you that forward vision and gives you a bit of knowledge, so it can be quite nice for China games. You lack that early game scouting, so checking some tank hunters inside of garrisons can be nice. Yeah, I think the main thing really is having those RPGs is going to be able to deter those attack outposts. A single RPG in a garrison will pretty much prevent it from driving past. Yeah. So it's going to make it a little bit harder here for Typhon to actually flank around and use those attack outposts aggressively. Goes actually for a troop crawler, um, perhaps to... Yeah, so you can get RP, uh, Red Guard out for both of the oils. Um, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's probably getting the capture upgrade right now as well. Yeah, so you don't have to actually build the individual units, and I mean, you can never have too many Red Guard, I suppose, so it can be nice to have a, a couple of them. They're pretty good at cracking the shells, with that being said, on the yeah, side it, of the, the listening outpost. It's just an ultimate anti-outpost. The RPGs yeah. destroy the, the outpost itself. The Red Guard will, just, will kill the, uh, the RPGs inside of them, but without any RPGs... Uh, he can't. They can't just get crushed. We'll need to send an RPG down, especially with minigunners on the way as well. That's a bunker, actually. So pretty defensive playstyle from Bisakuno. Just despite actually being the nuke, who's normally quite aggressive, uh, really in any China matchup, most matchups actually. Double oil cap coming out for Typhon, and that's a minigunner. So you can just turn around and one v one this. He can just be like, bro. You can probably finish capping the oil down, <laughs> yeah. sneer, and, and then kill wipe him. his nose derisively, and then kill the red guard. Yeah, that, that so. wasn't even a vet 2 minigunner as well. Uh, Bisa, Typhon rather, deciding not to actually go for the, the upgrade, the General's Power Promotion. Which is odd. It's a pretty standard start, actually, yeah. coming in for China Inf. I guess he just wants to, you know, have an extra level of, um, like, arty strikes or cover bomb when he gets that level 3. And because that. you don't really, like, need them, like, they still destroy RPGs. But it makes them a little bit less powerful. So it will be two Gats and a Troop Crawler in the base here of Typhon. Oh, but he loses it, though, and a Gatling as well, that almost. absolutely loaded with tank Whoops. hunters. Oh, the Gatling almost goes down. The power's going to be sniped here. That's going to be nice. Now, nice micro here from b -Sark. He actually sent his full health Gat in first. This Dragon Tank, though, yeah, I guess the firewall on both of them. Dragon tank is killed. The power's actually destroyed as well here. He may even get this, uh, this war factory. Depends what's coming up next. Uh, so, yeah, so that was the troop caller was for. He wanted the, the garrison slots for the, the RPGs. The war factory falls. Uh, the power plant probably won't finish here. The RPGs with the horde bonus. No, bonus. the dozer should run. Maybe, yeah, the, the nice try with the truck. Suicide truck. He, he gets the power plant, but really is it worth it? Propaganda center. Wow. Man. Maybe he just wants like a really fast ECM. I'm not sure, but he doesn't have any war factories left. Yeah, that's true. That means he's entirely reliant on keeping these oil caps and, and making yeah, sure he has the current into of the game. Power gets sniped again. The supply is going to get sniped here. Man, it's a red card as well. Can't deal with that. Where's the minigunner mix? All the minigunners were back at base. I have to, yeah, this uh, Typhon, he gets points because he was actually planning on mixing minigunners, but he never got to that stage with some of the outposts that went out. Yeah. Rip. So there's, there's no red guard here, though. So these minigunners are going to be able to completely deter these RPGs. But the the Gatling's shown up. Nice play there. In the middle, however, outposts are on their way. A red guard in chase. But Typhon has both of these old derricks. He's getting a fair bit of cash, and the outpost may go for a crush. No, he's just going just for nothing, really. Outpost I think it's just an empty. Down. Yeah, loses one of them. Loses all the RPGs as well. 
Yeah, Man, this, this heavy infantry side. play from from uh, from Visak is working incredibly well for him. So odd. He's playing nuke as well. This is just crazy. It's it's so <laughs> rare to see this against China Imp. It's like really heavy infantry play. Loses the barracks. May even lose his propaganda center. <sighs> needs a barracks. Oh, he, what he needs right now is an uh, assault troop crawler and an ECM. He needs minigunners and an ECM. The RP. Oh, he has a minigunner, so the RP. The red guard can't really deal with that bunker. But he will lose the propaganda center. A little bit of a flank up here, though. I don't know what he's really going to get. He must have sold his bunker or just got destroyed. I think it's probably empty, the bunker, actually. He will get the supply center. Uh, at the same time, Typhons will get destroyed as well. We'll get a couple of crushes, though. Uh, not quite that well microed. Could have got yeah. more RPGs. His attention is actually focused elsewhere, trying to deal with this uh, push in the side. But the uh, outposts are going to get collapsed upon here. RPGs are going to be moving in. They're going to just, just box them into the corner. Uh, Typhon's not going to be able to cut this one around. Still has the oil derricks, but where's the where's the unit production? There's just not a lot left. Yeah, and there's probably not have has so many units inside of Typhon's base. The prop center's here for for Bisak, so he can get a Lotus and cap those oils. Okay, so there's a dragon tank there as well. Um, Typhon is at least hanging on, and he's still got the oils. They haven't been denied yet. Bisak really should look for those and deny them. Dragon can get sniped. Another one gonna be rolling out now. Should just play defensively. These tank hunters are so vetted. And just sending in lone uh, dragon tanks probably isn't gonna work. I guess not a red guard. Gatling actually is a little bit weak as well. But I mean, meanwhile, it's just allowing Bisak to just amass a new army. Absolutely massive army. Yeah, so a defensive firewall is what you want. An inferno cannon might be handy. Could be nice. Yeah, he's going Order, for... Order, gonna get sniped now. I don't know if there's How actually... How are we looking up the top? What's actually sitting up there? Nothing, really. Just the oil. Yeah, here we go. That, that fire was a bit better. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't quite get him. The lowest vetted, vetted tank hunters in the world. And the third or fourth dragon tank will finally... Yeah. Doesn't actually... It up. Doesn't have the cap upgrade, so he will just destroy it. Oh, he sneaks through with the listening outpost. But the RPG in, in the tower will pretty much destroy it completely. Yeah, that outpost is going to be going down any second. Finally, the base of Typhon is free. That's Rejoice! That's a full outpost, with that being said. Yeah, wow, that's a lot. That's shockers. He uh, maybe underestimated that. Loses the war factory, maybe the power as well if he evacs. Yeah, nice. You get the power here. That's the nationality upgrade as well. Oh, the ECMs, though. Oh, nice split! You can TNT really though. He TNT is one of them. Oh, TNT. Can you the other one? TNT? Uh, no, I think he, he TNT's he's the same one. several TNTs on the same one. He may lose it, though. Split like, them! Oh, split, no. Split! Bisak, split! Oh, no. It went down. <laughs> he lost both of them. Uh, meanwhile, though, it looks like Bisak's marching into the base of Typhon. There's really not much defense apart from this bunker on the other side. Nothing really... Up yeah, look, Typhon just got outplayed here. Yeah. The early aggression against China infantry, that's just... It wasn't in the form of uh, nuke battle masters, which is what you normally see. Um, even in this matchup, is is lots of new battle masters. So the response to that was like, okay, I'm gonna turn Hang on to attack outposts. That's Typhon's Lotus. Oh, uh, here we go. The comeback. The comeback. Dragon trail. tank. We'll get focused straight away, but we'll lose maybe a red guard. A couple of red guard go down. Nice focus coming in. Another red guard from Typhon. Uh, tank hunter. Tank. What? What? Dragon tank. Man. That's what you were looking for there, machine. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, that minigunner. Oh, that minigunner. Base trade with a, a, a dragon tank and a lotus? Is that the strat we're seeing here? or? Uh, well, I mean, it's only two buildings left. Not enough minigunners uh, inside. Well, he actually holds the line. He killed pretty much all those units with a single minigunner. Oh, it's actually two minigunners. There's lotus. I think she got taken out. No, nope, nope. That's lotus no, there. That's lotus up the top. Going for the command center. Dragon tank went down. Is it actually, Typhon's rebuilding. He's going for an airfield. Command center gets sold off. Lotus might be able to have War time factory. for one more cap before she dies. Yeah, the Lotus is going to reveal the Super Lotus. And Lotus can probably cap. The Super Lotus is really fast. Super Lotus is, like, ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh, actually, okay. We got there because uh, she, she started capping straight away, so the Lotus didn't even need to be there to reveal. Um, CC is being rebuilt. New copper bomb, actually. 
I, I think actually Typhon placed it on the side intentionally because Bisup didn't have vision of his supply. Okay. So he actually kind of wasted his supply by that placement. So that was a really nice placement by Typhon. It, it actually negates that, yeah. um, the new carpet bomb. Or Derek's still there. Cool little trick. I haven't actually seen that before. Yeah. Quite smart. Hasn't rebuilt this bottom supply either. Lost that one to the dragon tank earlier. Like how Typhon's... I can't believe he's still in this game. Yeah. I really thought he was gone. Uh, There's a Lotus though. Honestly, I did, yeah. So Lotus is going to grab up that oil, Derek. Could be the beginning of the end. And that's going to be one full wow. attack outpost. Yeah, okay. If we can get one more of those out. Well, there's an ACM though. Still could be defense. Yeah, but there's only minigunners. Let's snipe down. That didn't go too well. Repairs now. Yeah, now the RPGs are too far behind. Because without the Gatling and the ECM, the minigunner's going to zone away those RPGs. So... Not very good synergy of his units. Oh dear. Well, Lotus. Wait. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Bisa gets Lotus the, the cap. Lotus got the cap. That's good for for Bisa, of course. And going for more RPGs. Still has the prop center. That's quite valuable. Migs might I hear be. A TNT. A... Oh, okay, nice. It's gonna be onto the truck. Migs might be a good option here for Bisa. Very good against those um, listening outposts. Was well, actually going to be initially an airfield for Typhon doesn't go for it. TNT is the building. Yeah, that's not really going to work. <laughs> Unfortunately, not you're not a demo German uh, <laughs> tank hunter. I mean, I know you'd like to be, and that's cool, but uh, you know, you know. Isn't a that demo the worst German. feeling? When you're not when demo you're just German. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill this war factory. Oh wait, I'm not actually demo German. No. Yeah, and now this cover bomb will actually take all oh, the power and the prop center and the supply. Oh, it's the arty strike. Man, doesn't quite get the supply nah, center just the though. Trucks. And there's another dragon. There's another dragon tank. Oh man, the ECM will it get the shot down in time? It's Probably not. In here. And oh, going for the war factory is a bad idea. Anything could be coming out of there. So I wonder where the Lotus went. It's still up here. It's chilling. Yeah. Yeah, it won't get yeah, the factory. ECM's gonna get the shot down here. Probably should have just gone for the barracks there. Um, had a chance to to snipe down the barracks, stop the. Uh, Oh, that minigunner. Action. He's staying in the area. Lotus can't really cap again. Uh, has absolutely no way of dealing with a minigunner. Well, and the outpost on the way, especially. Mm. I think that's why Lotus didn't go for the base. Worried about the detection. I mean, trying to even has so much detection. Oh, this could be a deadly carpet bomb. How close are the units to the war factory? Carpet bomb. I'm looking at the Lotus, though. Yeah, as well. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, actually, oh, no. overshot the mark a little bit. Guess the dragon tank at least, though. Doesn't even get the war factory. Uh, that sucks. Unfortunate. Not going to be following it up. Doesn't look like there's an arty strike on the way here, machine. Dozer will be repairing that one. There's an arty strike. Lotus going to be revealed pretty. S oh no, Lotus is backing away. Is that going to finish off the war factory? It'll probably get the supply center as well. Maybe the Dozer as well. Dozer would be a really nice type. Depends with the. Oh, that's enough. Was placed. Full assault helix. He should have heard this. Typhon should have heard this. Oh, the Dozer almost got enough repairs down. Yeah, it was close. That was so close. And level one Arty and the supply almost went down as well. That was such a good play from Typhon. He had the Dozer there repairing. It was almost enough to, to save it from the art artillery strike. Beautiful so, play. There's an ECM and a GAT, but the GAT's actually out of position. When, when you have an ECM, sometimes having a full minigunner helix can be a better option. Gonna get shut down. So many troops gonna be lost. That was... Typhon's entire army to... Well, no, the entire army's extent. in this yeah, helix. Was, okay, yeah. It's actually a MiG as well. Oh, MiGs are going to get destroyed yeah. if it flies over that garrison. Well, I've got a couple of Red Guard, though. Mm. It's going for the destroy. It actually has a capture upgrade. No, he doesn't. He does. Oh, no, he does too. Yeah, no, he does. Yeah. Looks on the wrong side. But the helix... There's two, there's two gats here. This bunker is actually uh, empty, I believe. You found a lotus. <laughs> Fortunately, that's B-Suck's mines. You got yeah. the skills. You got the skills. Gets machine. the oil. Oh, that command center within range. Where's the helix, though? Going back towards the base? How did he know? I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see if he sees a lotus in time. Yeah, he won't. we won't cap just yet. Defensive helix in a good position. These cover bombs haven't had much luck this far, have they? No. I mean, it's hard to destroy a war factory unless you get multiple... Oh, and there's a MiG here as well, landing. actually, circling the airfield on guard mode. Gotta love the guard mode machine. Been over it before. Guard mode is pretty great. Ooh. Wasted the, the shells. Now you can cap it now. 
Oh, it? that was great. Fantastic play. What did he actually drop? I think was it was just a mind drop. Just I don't even drop. know. Yeah, I guess the command center now. The mix oh, on the beautiful. airfield. That's that's a new strat. That's new <laughs> meta. That is hundred percent new meta. We recommended building. Uh... Well, will he will he force fire the ground though? They should force no. fire. These are some high tier players. Right oh, now. these MIGs both go down to this Gatling tank. That was beautiful player coming in. Here comes the gap. Helix though. Gets one Gat. Gets both the Gats, I believe. The Lotus is still here. How amazing was that? Yeah, that was pretty good. Using a, a plane from like a mine drop in order to, to bait out the MIG shots. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You can also just build a scaffold hmm. and the then cancel it. as well. Um, that was 100% more swaggy though. It was. That, that was, was pretty cool. Plus, no Stuart Lotus is still around as Typhon. Uh, he's going for the CT now, which is safe. Cover bomb. Cover bomb. Won't get any MIGs though. But at least he actually gets something with it. Hmm. Dragon tank. Crushes RPGs. That's different. Wow. You also eat a TNT for your troubles. Yeah. Problem is, if he goes into repairs in the War Factory to save himself from the TNT, the War Factory might die. Not really, but. <laughs> um, did Lotus. No, she's just chilling down the bottom. That now. must have been the mind drop that was used yeah. for the, the thing. Yeah, so I, I think the Helix doesn't know where the Lotus is. Maybe, like, protecting the, the War Factory. He's still kind of in the middle, so he, he can really um, cover all rotate. these buildings. Yeah. yeah. And more RPGs and more Gats are streaming through. Typhon's running out of stuff, rebuilding a, a propaganda center. What does he want with it? Yeah, I, I mean, know. he really needs to just um, get a detection out and kill this Lotus. Yeah. So that's going to be a problem. Because if, if he attacks with a Helix... More units is better. He's going to lose the, the anti-Lotus in his base. Probably mind drop. Probably mind drop. Yeah, actually, the Helix isn't engaged yet. The Helix will get the Lotus. He didn't wait for it. He caps it, though. Yeah. He didn't sell it, either. Nice cat. There wasn't a cell coming in. I think he thought the, the Helix would rotate yeah, in Yeah, it would have been close. Didn't. There was a bit of a distraction going on. But I'm surprised he, he didn't uh, wait for the Helix to engage first. Maybe he just thought that the Helix was going to. Uh, either way, selling off the command center. Three Helixes here. Some RPGs on the ground as well. Mines have been... Gets a few pickups there, but actually this Helix is kind of low and can't repair on the airfield. He's gonna go for it? Maybe he wants to get a propaganda tower. Base trademark too? Well, not if there's two Gats. No, two Gats are gonna be able to deal with it easily. They're spinning oh, up. And they're spinning up. Oh, no. They were spinning up. Barracks goes down. They're the stationary as well. They're stationary. That's gonna fall. Evacs are just in time. Nice work. May want to build a troop crawler. Yeah, too many RPGs for this Gat. Nice, nice evac. Applied. A troop caller should be able to deal with this. Yeah, but the War Factory is going to be go down. It hasn't actually been Oh, wow. It's, yeah, here. it's weak. Yeah, War Factory for War Factory here. Going to be traded out. Killing the unit production here from Biscuit is going to be the... Bisuck... <laughs> you should call him Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit. <laughs> from Biscuit. <laughs> it's going to be uh, pretty crucial. CC is going to be going down. It's important that it finishes because it takes a lot of time to destroy. It's Gatling Cannon. Oh. So it finishes. CC finishes. That's an eye strike coming in. I think that's uh, biscuits. Almost got it. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it's biscuits. Yeah, it is denied the cap, maybe, or go for the RPGs. Probably going for the RPGs. But he's gonna miss them. He will get oh, the, the, the minigunner. It? It's gonna oh. be a clutch one. It's gonna be a clutch, oh. but I think he'll get the minigunner. I could be wrong though. He sells. Oh, oh, it didn't even matter. Oh, oh! <laughs> minigunner only takes one shell, survives. No, the mine jump from the side is gonna take out most of those RPGs. They have to stay still. They're gonna try and blow their way out of this minefield. It's not gonna be enough though. No. One of the RPGs still survives. The truck's gonna go for the crush. What happened to that dozer? Oh, I guess the TNT. Oh, TNT comes down. Ah, oh, the jukes! The tank out of jukes! <laughs> really nice micro coming in there from Typhon. Not gonna be enough though. And one of those supply trucks actually does go down. CC's gonna go down here. The mini gun of the mini gun! Oh! That he, was almost enough. He could have capped that power plant and won the game. Yeah, is that the only. That's the last building, isn't it? Yeah, that was oh, it. Oh no! The mini gunner, if that survived, that would have been game over. I <sighs> think I think Typhon might lose here. And he was almost out of the radius of, of the crush. He was like really on the side. I think he's the mini gunner down over. the bottom. The mini gunner is running for the cap. The cap Which runner. One? Isn't that Look, an RPG like, though? No, no, no. What? Is it? Where? Yeah, he can't cap with that RPG. Oh, it's an RPG. Okay, you can so destroy he might it. Be able to destroy it. And. Barracks. But it's gonna eventually Typhon can use some abilities, and if he uses the carpet bomb in the EMP, in the right position, he's right near the side, so it will be pretty much instant. 
So now that the, the barracks is down... Did the RPG get through? Uh... It did? What's running over? The supply truck. That truck's wounded. Is he gonna rotate something back? Yeah, the, oh, the gat's gat, going the back. Gat, the gat's going back. Yeah, That's really a good A couple bomb will kill us. You can't dodge yeah. with, with RPGs when you're that close to the map. How much cash does Siphon have? Does he have enough for a dozer, for example? No, he already lost it. He yeah. tried to rebuild a dozer, but kept getting sniped. This one RPG... The truck is gonna... <laughs> but it's vision as well, yeah. It's all about... No, the couple can just take out the war... the, the power plant, oh, That's dude. true, that's true. Alright, so it's gonna be CC left here. <laughs> Time has got CC. What else what? does he have? What's the other building down the bottom? That's a, uh, supply. That's a supply. So there's two buildings versus he, he one. He can build a truck, actually, for a crush. I'm like, what is with the, these crazy games of just, like, these absolute ridiculous base rushes okay. here? This is what we see. The power plant's getting pretty low. Command center as well will probably stay around for a little bit longer, the but it's three truck, RPGs the versus truck is one. Being micro. Yes, yeah, it he does. gets it. And nice. it got some ventricity from it as well, so it's going to increase the rate of fire. The <laughs> supply <laughs> truck might have thrown this game. The supply truck might the throw the game. It's going to get there in time, though. The I think it will. Get there in time. But RPG will fall. The power plant. It still lives. Mind drop comes down. That's Wrong all spot. he really had. What else is coming in? What's that from Typhon? What is flying through the sky? Oh, uh, that's gonna be a copper bomb. That's gonna be the game! He sold his supply, but the copper bomb will get the power plant, hey! and that will be the end of the game. Bisca, he gets taken out oh, there. Victorious. What? What? How have these... Why is everyone playing games <laughs> that are this close? This has probably been the best night of Zero Hour we've ever had. Yeah, this has been some fantastic casts Whew. of Zero Hour. That game was intense. Those plays. The plays were real. I, I do cool love... Cool micro cheeks that we haven't seen it before as well. I love that troop crawler RPG strat mm. because no one expects it. No, they wouldn't. It's about... The, the, see, the thing with China Imp is like you're building all these listening outposts you're expecting like new battle masters. That's what I do in that situation. Yeah. Like, sure, you're going to be mixing minigunners but not straight away. It's kind of like you, you start churning out minigunners, like get a couple of them into outposts but your initial outposts that are out there for scouting, they're not going to have anything in them. Yeah. Just, just purely three RPGs. RPGs. Uh, and that's what we saw there. It's just the gat was there to deny any minigunners, and then the the uh, the troop crawler actually just gives some cover for the infantry until all the minigunners are dead, and then they you back faster. and start destroy garrisons. Really cool strat coming in there from yeah, from that was Biscay. great. Also, he had the, those defensive RPGs in the little garrisons, so even if an outpost got through, it, it would have just died. Really, yeah, it wouldn't have had an, a much impact. Or taken a lot of damage at least, so yeah. something could clean it up. Yeah, really great game here from both of our players. China mirrors are awesome. China mirrors are cool. Unfortunately, our games aren't quite that exciting. No, I mean, we've had close games, but not, nothing quite that exciting. Yeah, not that ridiculous. Uh, that's pretty great. All right, that'll do it, folks. Cheers, guys.